Welcome to Cameron House Marina, my name is Ruben, I'm the sales manager here at Marine Sales Scotland. This is a 2004 Doral Monticello, a stock boat, she's a 27 foot weekend cruiser and is the much sought after rarely found diesel variant, powered by a 300 horsepower 4.2 litre Mercruiser diesel engine, with a dual prop out drive on a Bravo 3 leg. Just complete from machine polish, hull wrap, anti-fill, anode change, teak recondition and detail valley. She's a superb family weekender with an extended range when you compare her to her petrol predecessors. Gallantly afloat with a sleek presence in the water, she beams Canadian charm with a host of useful extras. Let's take a little look in detail. Now it's all going on at the swim platform here. Look how close it is down to the water. So this is definitely the place to be. If you are in the water, there's a grab rail there for you to hold on to. And then your reboarding ladder is just accessed here on the starboard side. Auxiliary motor bracket for an auxiliary engine or also if you want to bring a tender on this, you can see there are strap and fasten down points located in a sort of triangle on the deck. So you can strap something down there, water sports as well. Inlaid teak, that was just reconditioned. And then look how the cleats are all streamlined. So they're popped in and out. That makes the deck clutter free and means you're not bashing your toes off it if you are walking around here barefoot. Now, in this first locker, we've got the hot and cold controls for the transom shower. Great if you are going for a dip and you want to rinse that salt water off before you go in. That is your vent for the onboard diesel heating system. Then in the back here, it's just a storage locker with your battery isolator. That's perfect for your ropes and your fenders. Now it is very popular, this vessel, because of its configurable seating area at the back here. So you can actually extend this out. You pull this out with the grab rail and you can then either drop the table down or you can put an infill cushion in here and just turn this into basically an elongated version of what it is already now. I'll show you it first with the table down. So with that extendable back, we can move it back the way the infill cushion goes in again and then the table drops down and in goes this big insert so all your friends can top up their tan. Unfortunately, it's not going to be today. A little bit overcast, but it is warm. And then you can see with the canopy arch, the way it's systemed, you can just take this back off, collapse the arch forward and then soak up some UV rays. So you can see that's your infill cushion there. Then you've got a wee space for your legs, two or three people on this side, another two, three in the back bench. And what a superb position it is back here almost overhanging the water. You're overhanging the swim platform and that makes you feel really one close and connected with the water. You've got canopies that obviously will enclose all this area here, but it is quite a nice day. So we thought, why not just leave it open? It's clarion stereo speakers, one there, another one underneath next to the diesel heating vent. Access to the engine is underneath here and I like how there's a secondary hatch. So you can just pop that open to look at oils and levels quickly rather than have to open the entire hatch if you want to do that. Stitched logo Doral and the boat is finished very well. Look at this padded effect up at the back there. You've got your reverse chaise lounge if anyone is in the water. And then you've got a double helm position. The veneer is very good. No bubbling or warping, which is a surprise. You do tend to get that on, on boats of this ilk quite often. We've got a Lawrence HDS5, a Raymarine VHF. Your ignition is here and there are your blowers and your battery link switch. Lubasto diesel fired heating. Your engine warning lights are actually here in this blacked out panel. They'll light up if you have a fault with the engine. Then you've got your search light and then your electronic trim tabs. Electric anchor winch and then just all of your buttons there in front of you and another control for the stereo system. Depth finder just on the right hand side and then access out onto the bow if you want to go up and use those four deck bathing cushions. Well, that couldn't be simpler. One, two, three, away you go. So it is just non-skid up here. That is great functionality wise. If any dogs are up here, kids, anything gets muddy, you can just wash it down with a hose. Let's take a little look inside. So you're three steps down. Now you'll notice this entire area here is carpeted, but what you can do is you can lift these out. They're only pop studded on. And that means if you're having a water sports day where the kids are jumping off the back, they're coming soaking wet through in here into the toilet. You can remove these as to not get them damp and smelly. Now up at the bow, we've got U-shaped seating. Lots of headroom for everyone. The table is nice and solid. That will also drop down actually to form another double berth. With the table drop down, we can put in two inserts here and here. They can be stowed underneath either of these lockers. You can lift up the backrest and that makes space for your feet. The main feature on this is the width. It is from backrest to backrest, full beam. So hull to hull 
and it's ultra comfortable. The leather is very nice, soft and supple. Now continuing with the saloon, thanks to these big head skylights here, there's also another one at the escape hatch, but we've just got the four deck bathing cushions up there, that's why it's dark. So lots of light comes in here and it does make it feel a lot bigger than, than 27 feet. Your stereo system, the control for it is just in there. And then you have the hidden alcohol cabinet. So, pushing up against the back, more speakers. And they are covered for that flush matte effect. More speakers up at the bow. And then looking back, they are well finished. They do feel bright and airy. I mean, condition-wise, they're, they're super. This Alcantara suede running down both of the shelves there so you can put items up in the back. You can also put items actually underneath each of these sides. There are storage lockers, so if we lift this one up. You see, nice big clean locker. There's a table leg in there in case you want to replace the... The back section with, with another leg. When I say that, it means in case you want to drop it down so you've got your external spare leg there. But we'll put that back across. And then we move this across. So the carpets have been shampooed, all the leather's been conditioned and it's been detail validated. So you've got blinds that you can pull down there, roll down blinds on either side and then these portholes will open just for your ventilation. Escape hatch, and I hope you never need it. It's just above your head. There is always a certain charm about Doral's. I'm not 100% sure what it is. I think it's probably the textiles, the layout, primarily probably the build quality. They are very, very solidly put together. Boats. It's nice having the galley port side and you can see there is full standing headroom there as well just before you access down into the aft berth. But just opposite from the galley, we do have the heads. So that's this pump flush sea toilet with a waste tank. Your shower faucet will just come out, clip on, and that will turn us into a wet head. And then you can see down on the right-hand side there is the onboard drain. But loads of space, inbuilt toilet roll holder. Amenities can go in there. And then shampoo, toothbrush, shower gel, the likes of that also in there too. Now in the aft cabin area, Plenty of light coming in there, so you don't feel claustrophobic. We've also got another opening porthole, so two portholes that open to allow through flow of air. You've got your shelf up the back. And then a very large double, and once you're in, it's so cosy and snug. Plush upholstery again, no bare GRP anywhere. Look, you can't find a single bit throughout the entire saloon, actually. It's all finished with that marine vinyl, which is very soft, supple. It really does a good job of insulating this as well, because I think, unfortunately, in the UK, it's primarily the, the cold you're going to have to shield for from, rather than the heat. A very charming boat, lots of nice features as well. Hanging locker storage in here, the hidden drinks cabinet. I'll not ramble on about that too much, otherwise it no longer becomes a hidden drinks cabinet. Uh, if we look up at the back, let's take a little look at the engine in there. She's powered by a 4.2 litre, 300 horsepower Mercruiser diesel engine. We have lots of experience with these and they are fantastic runners. Superb access as well, look on both port and starboards if you need to get in there to change anything. Um, inline six cylinder and with a 300 in it, this boat will really, really shift. Very torquey this with the dual prop out drive on the back as well. Fresh water tank, batteries, black water tank, two Peter for the winter. With a 247 litre diesel tank as well, that'll keep you going as far as your heart desires. Plenty of run time during the day with that and the economical engine. A superb run about this, perfect for the family, diesel powered, so access to the outer isles, the Hebrides, the western coast of Scotland. Well, that is all under the wing of the Doral Monticello. I am Ruben from Marine Seal Scotland, we're fun in the water, begins.